Welcome back to my corner on the internet. Okay, so tonight writes this vid and it's called 10 Most Ruthless Acts of Revenge on Cheating Partners. What can I say? Thou have no fury like a partner scorned. <laughs> Bro. Some of the people fucked around and they found out. Well, I'm curious to see uh, see what's going to be on this list. So, without further ado, about to get into his reaction. Bro, whatever happened to just taking their card and spending it down to the last penny? <laughs> or cheating back? Kicked my ass. I found out that my husband was having an affair with a 19-year-old for six months. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining our picks for the 10 most ruthless acts of revenge on cheating partners. Happy Valentine's Day. Damn. For this list, we'll be looking at moments of people getting brutally even with their adulterous companions. Have you ever gotten revenge on a cheating ex? Let us know below. DJ Disaster. So I collect classic cars. I have done. I usually buy cheapies, do them up a bit and sell them on. Some radio DJs like to push boundaries on their shows to generate controversy and entice listeners to tune in. In 2005, Kerrang! Radio's Tim Shaw interviewed model and bodybuilder Jody Marsh and joked with her that he was tempted to leave his wife and family. Unfortunately for Shaw, his wife Haley heard the conversation. Fed up with Tim disrespecting his family for his show, after a few drinks, Haley put his prized possession up for sale on eBay. A Lotus Esprit Turbo valued at 25,000 pounds. But instead of making a tidy profit, she sold it before he got home for a mere 50 pence. Not 50 pence! Thanks to my wife, 50p on eBay. Airing Dirty Laundry. A panel hosted by C-SPAN 2 discussing the future of conservative politics doesn't seem like an obvious place for jilted lovers to seek justice. But that's what Todd C.B. did in 2010. And I think you'll find... <coughs> I think you'll find a lot of Helen's positions are actually guided by the desire to increase suffering. Partway through the discussion, he begins taking verbal shots at fellow panelist Ellen Riddlemeyer accusing her of some rather sadistic and hypocritical behavior. Although his remarks get a few laughs from the crowd, it's hard to tell whether he's actually joking. When CB reveals that he and Riddlemeyer dated for two years, and even indirectly accuses her of cheating with some of the people in that very room. It might come as a surprise to some of you that we dated for two years, not just because we have ideological differences, but because there are probably some people in this room who also dated Helen during those two years. It Ooh. certainly made this panel far more interesting than your typical C-SPAN contents. No. Now, how are you gonna be, how are you gonna be looking busted and have the audacity to cheat on top of that? <laughs> Bro. Damn. I swear in this country is the butters ones that are like the town bikes. It's actually insane, bruv. <laughs> And let me continue. Sportsmanship would even include things like coldly saying at one point that she was going to play matchmaker and set up a couple and then seduce the man away to play with his mind and hurt the woman. Which, when you think about it, is pretty creepy. Jet setting breakup. What do you do when you find out your boyfriend's been cheating on you? You take him on holiday, of course. Sometimes a simple conversation is too easy. In 2023, TikTok user Foy Lux who creates custom-made scratch-off tickets to give as gifts, shared an order she'd received from an unidentified woman. The customer wanted the company to create a scratch card to give her partner the impression that he was getting a trip to Dubai for his 21st birthday. But when he scratched off the foil, he wouldn't find a ticket to a luxury vacation to the sun. Instead, a very different message would be there, stating that the woman knows he's been cheating, and ending with an explicit insult. It's not your buy, it's boy buy. Because oh. you're upset, and you deserve that. Malicious musician. Not the Y S L L L L. I see you in, I see you in, I see you in. They say that living well is the best revenge, and if you can rub your newfound success in your mm. ex's face, even better. That's exactly what musician Iza got to do in 2022. Oh, to advertise the release of her debut EP, 
I say this with love, she bought a billboard space across Los Angeles featuring the album title and a giant image of herself. Pretty normal so far, but Issa specifically chose a billboard that faced her cheating ex's home. So when he wakes up and opens the curtains every morning, he's greeted with a very visual reminder of what he did and what he's now missing out on. Okay, that's actually pretty good revenge. BFF no more. Discovering you're being cheated on is bad enough, but when it turns out your partner has been doing the deed with your best friend, that's a whole other tier of betrayal. In a 2022 TikTok, jewelry company Stir of Beauty detailed the devastating order they received. A woman had found out her fiancé had been sleeping with her BFF. With her former friend's birthday coming up, she asked the jewelers to make a necklace for her and another for him with explicit messages calling out their devious deeds. To show their support, the company also included a necklace that said, Queen, free of charge. Oh. Writing revenge. Just a year and a half into her marriage, actor and author Gabrielle Stone discovered that her husband had been cheating on her for the last six months. 2017 literally kicked my ass. I found out that my husband was having an affair. To make matters worse, the other woman was only 19 years old, and this was no one-night stand. Stone's husband had met the young woman's family and had gone on vacation with her parents. He even lied and given a fake name, Daniel. Stone divorced him, fell in love with someone else, and the two planned a long trip to Italy together. However, when that relationship fell apart, she went abroad alone. What does a woman do when her heart has been ripped out and stepped on twice in two months? She goes on a wild adventure. Afterwards, Stone wrote the best-selling book, Eat, Pray, Hashtag FML, based on her marriage experience, in which she named the character of the unfaithful ex-husband, Daniel. And I really... Do you think that that was my therapy? It's what got me through all of the emotions I was dealing with. Dramatic ending. My baby daddy is a real piece of shit. Thea Loveridge went the extra mile to get revenge on the woman her boyfriend was cheating with. Detailing her story on a TikTok in 2021, she discovered her partner had been sleeping with his ex while Loveridge was pregnant with her child. I found out that he Damn. was cheating on me the whole time I was pregnant with his ex-girlfriend, who caused all this drama in our relationship. After he went to prison for an unrelated assault, the other woman messaged his phone, seemingly not knowing about his run-in with the law. Loveridge <laughs> told her that her partner had passed away. To sell the tale, she even teamed up with the man's sister to create a fake funeral and sent the mistress photos of it. Three years later, the woman was still posting social media tributes to her not really dead former lover. No. Trick the side chick into thinking. Trick the side piece into thinking that that the guy was dead. That's mad. <sighs> nah. Make his own death like that, bro. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, but it's just damn. The love of her life and um, how she's so sorry that she couldn't be there when he died. Sticky situation. When Danessa Davis let one of his girlfriends tie him to a hotel room bed, he thought things were about to get steamy. But Ooh. instead, three more women soon showed up at the room, including Davis's wife. <laughs> <laughs> That, uh, that the problem was over. They had discovered that Davis had been sleeping around on all of them, and they were ready for revenge. This is all the women. These are all the women. Bro. <laughs> Nigga was caught slipping. Come on, dude, raise the bar, though. Raise the bar. <laughs> the very nice people just. The, the women hurled just, insults nah. at the helpless cheater, and one of them, Therese Simon, hit him in the face. She then glued little Davis to his stomach. Soon after, the women fled, taking Davis's wallet and car with them. He told That's how you do it. <laughs> later free himself from the bed by chewing apart one of the bindings. All four were eventually sentenced to probation and community service for the incidents. People are emailing around jokes about this situation, most of which I can't repeat on television. But come on, this guy, if anybody had it coming, he had it coming. Stinking cheats. In 2013, one short video took the internet by storm. Recording himself, an unidentified man in Lincolnshire, England, reveals that he accidentally discovered his wife, Becky, had an active profile on a dating website. 
I have a confession to make. My husband doesn't know I'm on here. Well, I do now, darling. In the profile, she admits she's married, but is looking for something extra. She even insults her husband for being an idiot and crazy, and says she only loves her convertible and her horses. Unfortunately for you, I have the key oh, no. to your lovely convertible Peugeot. Let's see how crazy I am. The man even oh. films himself dumping a load of manure into the beloved car. Oh, it's down. Happy Valentine's Day. This is what you get. Becky didn't learn a lesson about cheating. We hope she at least learned to log out of her email. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel so and dumb. ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Twin Trader. Ting Su had what? gone through a major life change after giving birth to twins. But as it turns out, another big upheaval was in store for her. Suspicious of her husband, Chung, she used a phone tracker to tail him to a shopping center parking lot in Soju, China. There, she found him naked in a car with, get ready for this, her twin sister. So oh! The lovers panicked and jumped out of the vehicle. Seeing an opportunity, Ting slipped into the driver's side and drove off, leaving the two cheaters standing nah. in their birthday suits. Did you imagine that video? shit? Nah, nah, that last one. Cheated on you with your twin sister. <laughs> Everything back. I did. I didn't realize that that wasn't you. Don't try and cap you. You knew. I believe you knew. <laughs> nah. Imagine if I had a twin, and my girlfriend cheated on me. My twin. Cheat on me. My twin. I'll cheat on you. Your sibling. If I cannot cheat on you, your sibling, for whatever reason, I'll cheat with your mother. <laughs> well, cheat on me, my sibling. I'll cheat on you your, uh, with your parent. <laughs> parent. Now you're. Now you have to call me daddy. <laughs> What goes around comes around, bitch. <laughs> Bro, but nah, how are you gonna how are you gonna go find your husband's back like that? M meanwhile, he has has keys to your convertible and that shit. Bro, I can't believe he did that. Re put manure in her car. <laughs> I'm dead. But nah, the the best ones on here have got to be uh the one the one who uh, who had her billboard up right near the uh, the cheating ex's house. <laughs> So you can see it. What can I say? Success is the best revenge. But yeah, that one is a highlight. And also the other one that's a highlight, I think, is got to be the one where they tied the guy up <laughs> to the bed in the motel. <laughs> I mean, they all, they all got community service for it, but I mean, I'm sure it was a sweet victory in the moment. Pretty cathartic in the moment. But yeah, think about, think about, uh, think about how sweet that revenge is whilst, whilst you're cleaning up rubbish. <laughs> As part of community service. Fuck knows what the community service was. And then this last one. Anyways, I'm trying to write some comments to see what people say right now. Someone commented, uh, love with uh love without loyalty is worthless. Uh you cheat, hurt, and backstab those you love. You don't you don't do it to someone you are loyal to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What is love without loyalty? What is love without trust? Let's say some people I previously dealt with, it's a good thing I was not exclusive with them because <laughs> I would looked even more dumber than I ended up being just for even dealing with them in the first place crazy how your outlook on things change change when you're no longer in a bad headspace anyway someone commented uh being cheated on sucks I I had a lot of time time to ponder this before my wife before, before my wife's unfortunate acts <laughs> oh man but can't be she really tri I can't be she can't be that woman tricked tricked her her cheating partner's side chick into thinking that <laughs> That he was dead. That one. That one was wild. In, in fact, honorable mention goes to that one. That that one also makes the list. Like my like the top four highlights from this list. And someone commented, "Oh, I need to find a good one before I go." Someone commented, uh, "Tying your cheating partner to the bed and then then leaving a little far, but at the same time, you better have some someone get them loose. If not, that's kidnapping or something along that line. <laughs> On that lines, either way, don't cheat. Yeah, exactly." Exactly, and all these people now know now know know what will happen if you cheat, right? These people fucked around, they found out, <laughs> uh, and yeah, let's hope they do not cheat after this. And the thing with this is, right, I'm in two minds, right? The mature side of me wants wants to be like, yeah, just uh, just end the relationship and walk away. But the petty side of me is like, if you cheat on me, I'll cheat back, <laughs> and I'll take I'll take your card and spend every last penny on it. All for good measure. <laughs> but now these ones are wild, but these were but these were tamer than than what happened than that shit I saw on TikTok. Like, how long was this? Like earlier on this year, where this girl don't know if she was dating this guy or not. Maybe she was capping. 
She was tapping because uh, because the guy wasn't even claiming her. The guy she did all this shit for, right? She went and stabbed her. She went and stabbed her friend. And she, she went and stabbed her friend. Poured boiling hot water on her, and is now serving time in prison for it. Like like that shit was fucked up and crazy. Like nah, like nah. So so these were tamer than that. But yeah, the thing the things people do when when they're disrespected by someone that they care about a lot and they like a lot. Damn. More story. Thou shall not cheat. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post if whenever I feel like it and I'll see you next one. Bye.